the immortal John Hancock. And boy, do I have something cool to show you today. There was a lot of weird stuff that was released in the early 80s, especially overseas. And you know, it's important to know that in, in Europe, uh, the Atari and Intellivision came late. And so kind of to fill that gap, they had a line of classic video game systems, I guess you could call them systems, and they were part of what's called the PC-50X family. And really what it was is that these Pong-like systems could play rudimentary cartridges. And here's just one example, it would be the Telesports 4 from Acetronic. Okay, so this is an example of one of these consoles that came out there. Well, there was a lot of this stuff, a lot of different companies. There wasn't a lot of copyright and they copied each other and they made a bunch of weird classic consoles overseas. None of that came over here. At least we thought we didn't see it. Recently, uh, I tested something actually in my game room and conferred with some other collectors online. And I do believe we have another classic video game console to be added to the US library. That's right. I'm gonna show a working US version of the PC-50X family on video. And uh, I have it here today. And so it's this. It was released by TCR. It's the 900 PC series programmable cartridge color TV game. Yeah, that's a mouthful and it's obscure. I do not consider this a Pong because it took classic video game cartridges. Now, it comes with one cartridge with all the games on it, but I, I'm, gonna show the, I'm gonna show the box a little bit later and it shows other games that were released for this game system or at least planned to be released. And so what do you think? Uh, is it a classic video game console? I think so. I think that this is needs to be added to the US video game systems library. And I'm gonna show proof. Let's check it out together. All right, so here it is. The 900 PC series programmable cartridge color TV game, video sport by TCR. Boy, that's a mouthful. <laughs> And here we go. And it, of course it looks like a standard Pong. You're thinking, okay, this just plays Pong. No, it doesn't. And so on the back here, and it shows here that on the top here, it, it comes included with this cartridge, the 901C. This is the only cartridge that's been found. And on the back, it shows all the different games and how to select them on the actual console. Now on the top there, it's got tennis, hockey, soccer, handball, solo, grid ball, basketball, basketball practice, and then two player target and single player target. Okay, that's cool. But here's where it gets really interesting. Other action game cartridges available. And again, these aren't Pongs. These are actual games sold on cartridges. So there, right there, shows that they had a line of cartridges for this available system, Road Race, Cycle, Wipeout, Submarine, and Rifle, with more to come. Now in Europe, these were uh, there were several of these game companies made this console, but not in the US. This is proof that at least it was planned to be released, but it's still because it is part of the PC-50X series, it needs to be identified as a US classic game console. Now, some other interesting thing. Here's the side of the box art. Wanted to showcase that. Take C batteries. Realistic sound effects. <laughs> yeah. Many exciting game combinations, yep. And it was, looks like it was produced in the Philippines. And here's the console. Now the console, here's the controller. It's kind of cool. And it, these, these plug into this. It's cool, you can actually remove the controllers, which is really cool about that. That's the, that's the pin for it, really cool. I want to also state that the, the, the target game that's built in is actually played with the controllers. 
And here's the cartridge slot. Oh, I also want to show the, the Video Sport logo. And also want to show the back of it. Unplug the controllers here. And that is the back of the unit. It's kind of foil, so it might not show up the best. And let's showcase the game console being fired up. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, by the way, the, the cartridge here, it goes this way and it gets inserted right in here and gets plugged in there. Very cool. Let's check out the gameplay. Here we go. I'm going to turn it down to channel four and then turn it on. And that's what you get. Awesome, nice clear picture. This is a like a Sylvania TV DVD combo. And I use I use this TV for lots of things. It's like it's great for classic classic consoles. It's a nice clear picture. And as you can see, you can move the you can move the uh, joysticks around. And I press this middle button to reset. And you would and you would press the button on the actual controller to serve kind of your your kind of your standard pong it's kind of hard to do with uh, one hand here <laughs> but i'll try <laughs> so there's other things on here so the different modes you have some different games modes you have like a soccer that's pretty cool but the really interesting ones it's got that basketball <laughs> you have to make it into the little hoop that's pretty cool and then at the very end you have target which you have to use your crosshairs. To go ahead and hit the block on the television set. So. And that's how you do that. Pretty interesting. And there you have it. It doesn't look like much, but because it takes cartridges i think it needs to be part of the classic game library for the u.s and it works on a u.s television set channel four and because there was other cartridges to come out with it for it or possibly then definitely huge thanks to corey strite of classics and oddities he picked this up for me for my collection like he does with other stuff at Video Game Wizards, another game store and friend. And so also there's been a discussion about this online and one of those discussions was over at Atari Age. And I'll put the link below if you wanna follow along. It's There's still a lot of information that needs to be discovered about this classic console and I'm looking forward to it. So that's that. By far probably my strangest console in my library. It's really cool and I, I wanna show this video as proof that it does work on a US television set, Channel 4. And I think the proof is in the pudding. And so I, I, I do think because it takes cartridges and it had the ability to play games other than Pong, that it is a classic game console and needs to be identified as such. Um, I'm really big on history. I'm really big on trying to preserve some of this oddball stuff. I was really excited about doing this video and I'm, I'm happy to showcase it. So thank you so much for people around the world that have taken time out of their day to watch any of my videos. I do three videos a week, one on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. I typically upload at eight o'clock a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. If you'd like to further support me, I also have a Patreon in which I do an exclusive video every month as well as any unreleased videos that I can. And for as little as a dollar a month, you can support me that way. Thank you so much. This is the immortal John Hancock. Take care.